Hello my friends and welcome to my studio. I'm Vlad Duchev and today I'm gonna do a review of uh, Easel by New Wave, the, the company, New Wave, well-known company. And the Easel, um, the name of the Easel is You Go. I have, I have no idea why it's You Go. I don't think it's like You Go, but I guess it's just You Go pl paint a planer or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, so today is part number one, first impression. Just open the box, see what's in the box, and we're looking for uh, design, we're looking for material, uh, or materials, uh, we're looking for craftsmanship, and also um, the use and ability to modify uh, the easel for your needs, or uh, in my case, it will be for my needs, what I need. All right, so that is, uh, video or episode for today. So let's get started. Before we start reviewing the easel, I would like to make two, uh, two announcements. Uh, because, you know, it, it's not going to take a lot of time to review this easel with just first impression. Part number one, part number two will be when I will test this easel. On my plenary events, I actually, I was talking about not signing up for a lot of uh, uh, events this year, but uh, due to, um, you know, the uh, events in Ukraine, the war in Ukraine, and I'm still raising money for, and will be raising money for Ukraine, I decided to sign up and I was on time and I got in probably like, I don't know, maybe eight uh, plenary competitions all the money from the cut this competition from selling uh, paint maybe winning something i don't know god knows so all the money will go to support the refugees to support people who lost their you know lost ones to settle uh for right now it's going to refugees but i'm i'm pretty sure the war will be you know it will be over soon i hope and i pray uh, so right now we're supporting refugees and people who lost their lost ones and later on will have to support people, you know, to rebuild Ukraine. Um, so I'm still raising money. So this is announced number one. I'm still having 50% off on my all my paintings and I'm loading the new paintings. So you can you know, go to my website and see if you like something you can purchase. Uh, all the profit is going to toward um, helping Ukrainian people in Ukraine, directly to Ukraine. I have a direct connection through my church and through my own relationship with people um, with uh, in Ukraine, like Kharkiv, uh, Rivne, uh, Kiev, uh, and uh, south of Ukraine. All right, so this is announcement number one. So keep praying and keep supporting Ukraine. And announcement number two, I'm going to review this book by John, um, Carlson, interesting, um, and I, I'm going to talk about this later on. Just want to let you know that next week, next video will be probably about this book, uh, book to have uh, on your shelf, 100%. All right, it's called the Carlson's Guide to Landscape Painting. Uh, love this book, um, know it by by page, and strongly recommend. So we're going to do a review of this. So this is. Uh, all so let's jump on the uh, easel reviewing the easel so I got two boxes as you can see right here uh, one is um, the tray I just got one tray uh, and we're gonna review it later on I'm gonna open the box and actual easel in you know in this box here's the label you that go uh, naming of the easel by New Wave. So, how I look at the easels, I normally uh, look, especially new new brand uh, that have never tried. I will look at the package as well, how the actual item is arrived or arrived. Why you you may ask me why I'm looking at the what's the point of looking at the uh, package? How you know uh, item was packed? Well. It is important because um, there's two ways of considering this. Uh, one is 
uh, the package can be bad or the package can be good. All right. So there's two basically two packages or four variants of packages: good package, good item; uh, bad package, bad item; good package, bad item; or bad package, good item. All right. How it's why it's important? If company doesn't pay attention to details like a packaging, uh, normally this company will not pay attention to actual product. Very simple. Um, so let's say if the product is okay, you pull a you know item from the box and it looks great, but you realize the package was bad. I'm pretty sure, uh, probably 99.9 percent, .9 there is some flaws in this ease or this product, because if company doesn't pay attention to details on the package and they don't pay attention to it's just common thing, they don't pay attention to product details. All right, uh, or on the other hand, you may see really perfect packaging and you think like wow probably item should be the same way then you pull the item and you see some flows on the, on the item so the marketing there's a disconnect between the marketing uh, department and actual production department uh, because normally production match with should match with marketing which is packaging so you can determine you know, the stage of the company how they build and you know where they are is this mass production or this is hand picking or this is more details oriented and so on and so on this is important so let let's open the box and see what is in the box uh, look at the packaging and see if it's you know bad item good item bad packaging good package you may, you may probably like what it's crazy you know what who cares about packaging I care you know what I, I have a business and I pay attention to details same same attention that you have to pay for your, you know, when you paint on a canvas. Same thing, right? That's the same thing. All right, so let's open the. Yeah, I'm gonna be one-handed today because I cut my finger by cutting my canvases today. Um, package. So this arrived I already. Pulled it from the big box. It's wrapped in a bigger, bigger, bigger box. Well, you know, protected. And then this is the package. Um, or box so it opens, opens like this and you pull your easel from the box comes in comes in a bag for plastic bag but actually it's not a plastic bag it's just plastic uh, shell I guess I don't know um, one thing I realized I already opened the box so I'm <laughs> It's not, I'm not op just opening right now. I already opened the box. I already look at the structure. I know all the flows just to save time, but I'm gonna act like I, this is the first time. Wow, oh, look at that. All right, so when you open the box, the packaging is okay. The only thing is what I like, uh, they won't let, let's say what I don't like. Uh, I don't like that it's, first of all, it's not a bag and it's not really nicely packed. Um, so lack of small details uh, the box is not fitted to this so they have a spacer to you know to cover make sure it's not shaking inside which is okay so well uh, rolled and uh, um, I have one is uh, instruction how to video you have to you know go search and see you know something about how to new new web YouTube channel YouTube to search and go push out box instructions how to video and uh, the website so it's a nice piece nice detail nice very nice detail and then I like really like this I'm I, you know I I'm somehow relates to marketing as well and my work and I like this um, there is a two I guess owners or designers of this easel. Uh, Kyle and Keith, I think. Uh, there's no names, but it's a hand. It's not print, so basically they sign it. Kyle and Keith, uh, those two guys. So it's really nice, guys. Nice work. Uh, I like this touch, personal touch. All right. So this is the box right here. Um, I would give, you know, from ten I will give eight to packaging uh, from 10. 
All right, so let's 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 open uh, the tray before we open and start looking at um, actually the box. So same here, label, nice label. So I see there they pay, you know, they putting some details, uh, some attention to details again. Same instruction. Uh, then several spacers, and then two pieces. Two pieces wrapped, and again it's wrapped into. Is this a bag? No, this is not a bag. This is just a. Yeah. I'm not sure. This is a tray, uh, and the tray comes with. Uh, metal holder and how it works uh, basically this is a metal it's not heavy uh, and here's the magnets on the back right here two two magnets or actually four magnets and slider right here so all you have to do just to slide it inside it's a kind of flimsy it just holds by you know holds by by mat by magnets so it will be interesting to see how many times I'm going to knock it out when I paint. So, the tray and the easel. Let me remove the papers. And let's look at the easel and the tray. All right, so this is the easel. Uh, not heavy, I can tell you that. So let's look at at design first. So design is very simple. It's based on magnets, something like um, uh, Edge, uh, the easel well-known Edge, uh, which is really expensive. Uh, same concept. Um, so we have on the back, we have a screw for plate. We're gonna install it later on. Then we have two hinges. Uh, it's uh, spring-loaded so when you open the box it's like a strata uh, same same spring-loaded hinges uh, and then we have this plate right here uh, which is supports the hinges uh, uh, I guess they afraid so that when you do a lot of opening and closing you can break this part so they protected it with the metal piece right here what I found is um, in this design. It's it's nice. I'm not sure why we need to have a whole piece across. I just, you know, I would probably, what I will do when I modify, we'll talk about this, I'll just cut it here and cut it here and just leave these two small pieces. That's it. I'm not sure. Also, if you see, it's a wobbling. So the plate is like this. Um, let, let me switch the camera. As you can see it right here. You can see the you know it's warped. So this this plate is like like this. Uh, so basically when they drill the holes uh, and they start installing it, the, the, sh the distance of the holes for the box and the distance of the holes in this plate are not even. I mean, not, they are different. The, the easel is actually shorter. So that's why when you push it inside, that's what will happen. And this is going to bother me. Maybe it's not going to bother anybody else, but it's going to bother me big time. So I will probably lose the screws and make it, or put a glue maybe and glue it. Make sure it's not glued. I mean, make sure it's glued and not, not doing this. I hate this. All right. So. Uh, other than that, there's one thing that I found. Uh, it was, um, yeah, it was right here. The the construction of the box is plywood, and uh, um, machinery cut cut it inside. I will show you. But um, <clears throat> I found two bubbles. Uh, two bubbles right here. I probably don't can see it. It's right here and here, and it's actually when I'm pressing it, it's moving. So they're gonna chip 
really soon, you know, when you put it in the box, out of the box, in the box, out of the box, it's gonna chip. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it, put the glue and glue it, and make sure everything is glued. And again, we start talking about new box, new easel, right from the box, right from the manufacturer, and you have to modify, you have to make it better. Not a good sign. That's why packaging, you know, as I said, packaging is a number eight from 10, eight star from 10. That's why it's matching with this. So there is no attention to details. And I'll show you a little bit more. Um, so if you even if looking right here, you can see that that bubble, uh, it's just cracking. So we have to fix this. All right, so let's open the box and see what is inside the box. So very easy, again, this magnets inside, and I'll show you, oops. So when you open the box, it's like this. They have inside, they have two rubber bands to, uh, I guess, to close or to have, you know, the uh, brush cleaner. All right, so how it operates, again, magnet here, magnet here, magnet here, magnet here. So if you want to install your tray, all you have to do is just take the tray, and I'm gonna install it on this side. So let's let's try to install the tray. So how you do it, so all you have to do just, you can install it uh, right here, and here's the niche, or cut, special cut right here. So, and the, uh, you see this thing right here, so all you have to do just insert the inside, boom. And there is a magnet here and magnets on the back, I think. Otherwise, why would it hold? Maybe not, maybe just magnet right here. Looks like magnet only here. So this is how you install the uh, tray holder right here. And then you take the tray and you just insert the tray like that. And again, there is magnets on the back, four magnets. So when you put it line up, the magnets are holding it. So it's hold like this. Oh, I guess it's wobbling. I'm not sure. We'll see. All right. Now, this is a tray. Again, this is spring loaded. So whatever you leave it, it's not going to move. And I will have to tell you in, in part two when I will use this tray, how this holds. I hope this is going to hold the same way as um, a strata, right? All right, let's uh, remove the tray. I just, you know, make sure it's not on the way. Um, big cut right here, very deep, as so I think it's like a half inch or even five eighths cut inside. You can put maybe several brushes, shorter brushes. Uh, you can put something else, maybe a razor or something else. Um, the how to remove the tray. This is something that I, when I was looking at their YouTube video, I like this very much because all you have to do, again, everything is in magnets. So this is easily taken because it's magnet, right? You can take this out and then you can slide the pallet and you can replace the pallet, which is nice. Also you have small compartments right here so you can have something small. The depth is about, um, I would say less than three eighths. Um, I have to measure it. So you can you can have something, uh, you know, a cheat sheet of colors, uh, do, uh, doling the colors cheat sheet or something. I don't know, maybe photo photos or something. Find something, right? Maybe dollar bills, or maybe a passport. All right. So I like this idea. Um, what I don't like is this. So if I push it all the way and I will put this, which is heavy duty magnets. Now look at that. It's actually moving. So if I push it, if I push it this way and I press right here, it's going inside. You probably don't see it, but it's actually going inside. See that? So it's supposed to be all the way over here, I'm not gonna hold it, so it's against the cutted edges. So right now it's okay. It sits on the platform, you know, behind this pallet. So what you can see probably right here, see this gap? It's probably like 116 gap, uh, big gap. So if I leave it right here, let it go, just drop and this will start moving. 
Um, I'm going to call them, uh, send them email, letting them know that I need a new tray because this is ridiculous. Um, or if I want to get the results of what I have to do, just remove this, put it uh, like silicon just to support it and put this and just hope that when time comes and I need to replace that, we'll be able to just cut the silicone and remove the plate. So this is big, big uh, flow. All right. Now, um, how it works. Again, everything is based on the magnet. Actually, you know what? Let me, let's put, let's close it. Let's put the plate and I'm going to put an easel so it'll be much easier to show you how it works. All right, we got our plate right here, regular plate and the hole. I like the, you know, how they make this hole. It's, it's not, it's from actually from inside. So I hope this is going to hold it pretty good. So let's insert, see how it's going to hold it. I like that. Easy, easy peasy. All right. And I have a special key. Highly recommend. It's called uh, Small Rig for all my cameras. They have this pocket, um, three Allen wrenches, regular sizes, most common sizes. Phillips, two stars, and this flat, kind of flat screwdriver. <laughs> so it just made for planar artists. All right, so let me lock it as much as I can. Let me take my uh, trusty Surui tripod. I think this will be enough. This is enough. Let me put it like this. And let's see how this will work. Not really convenient because the the nut is really close to the unit, but I guess there is nothing you can do. Um, yeah, that's what we that's what we painted about. Okay. Anyway. All right. So this is the easel. I hope you see it. If not, I can I can lift it. Okay. Here's the easel. Let's open it up. This is how it. Oops. Let me close it a little bit more. So how it works. There's there's two magnet thing. The holder, canvas holder. And again, this is a metal. Uh, you can buy, I believe you can buy it longer, but you have to carry, the, carry this in your backpack separately. And there's a bunch of small magnets. So one is the bottom one. Let me see, yeah. This is the bottom one and this is the top one. So the bottom one is hold right here. And then the top one is like this. And they recommend make sure you have all, what is it, five magnets. And make sure all five magnets are holding the canvas holder. Okay. And you just slide it up and down. Uh, they have a lot of cuts just to make the easel lighter. All these cuts, um, which I like it because when you put a canvas, let's say this is a eight by ten canvas, I can put it right here, and it's I like it because it's actually not covering a lot, so I can move it up like this and push it down. That's it. I can. I can push it completely down. I don't like this because it's, you know, it's getting, uh, it's covering the canvas and it's actually covering the canvas. But also if you start using brush and start working right next to this teeth, you're going to damage your brush. I, I can guarantee you, I can already see it. So you have to kind of lift it up a little bit. So it's not, and be careful because every time you go against it's really sharp. 
every time you go against the brush, against those teeth, you're gonna damage your, your brush. So be careful. All right, so this is how it works. Uh, this is 11 by 14 box. So the max size to hold is 14 inches. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna test it. So let's push it down a little bit. Let's test how this will hold uh, small and large. They they saying the company is saying that the maximum you can, the maximum size of the canvas you can have is 14 inches. So I already tested the 10. 10 is you know 8 by 10. Uh, this is 8. So all we have to do just push it down and it holds. We can put it in the center. It's not bad. Not bad, so it's, it's, I like this, you know, to be protected, it's not in the way, you can paint, all right, um, not bad. So this is the eight by 10, this is 12 by 16. So put, let's pull it out. Insert this in here, eight by 16, I didn't, I mean, 12 by 16, I didn't see any problems. Uh, looking good, looking good. A little bit lighter than I was. You know what? Let me see. If I take the brush and I'll start. Yes. Mm. We'll see. But it holds 12 by 16, okay? Holds 12 by 16 and Let's see, 14 by, okay, so here's the thing. The T's are not grabbing the entire my gator board. So the T's are actually holding the, going inside the gator board. So I just wanna see how it's gonna work, if it's gonna work at all. Is that secure? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we will see. If I paint right here, is it, is it? If I press right here, I guess it's means it meant to or designed to paint just a smaller pieces. I mean, I'm not gonna paint um, for 14 by 18 on this easel. That's definitely not gonna happen. I'm gonna use my day day, day tripper, but it's hold. All right, and um, the teeth, if you take the canvas, uh, stretch canvas, uh, they're saying that the teeth will, go, this teeth on the, on the canvas holder will go and push the inside, the, you know, the, the wood or whatever canvas and it's gonna hold. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not sure. All right, so here's the tray. Yeah, we can put the tray and see how this will work with the tray. Adjust magnet. And um, and these things, um, they're supposed to send me a small one, so I can put it right here on the tray, and put the brushes something like something like this, and put my you know brush like this, so it holds the brush. Um, again, it's small details, or not pay attention to small details. Um, but overall, overall, it's not a bad box. I like the hinges, I like the, the space, I like the, it's light. The magnets, I'm not sure. I never used the magnet system uh, before. So I will, I will be testing it uh, this summer. See, I'm probably gonna, gonna work more on studies like eight by 10, um, or probably even um, six by eight. Uh, small six by eight studies. So let's see, let me pull six by eight. Something like this, which will be interesting because it's it's not going coloring the entire thing. So it's going right into foam or gator. It's 
kind of wobbling, but I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see how it will work. Probably this will be my use of this easel. I'm going to test it. So let's um, design. Let's finish design. So design is um, design is okay. I'm not really thrilled, uh, especially with you know the canvas canvas holder. Um, should be maybe a little bit bigger just to grab a uh, gator board because a lot of people actually actually using gator boards right now. Uh, it's light. Uh, this is I think it's strong, but it's not as strong as Strata. I'm pretty sure because I remember Strata you have to really push it. This is a little bit lighter. Uh, I'm not sure if this is adjustable or not. Uh, probably not. So overall. There are some flows, I already mentioned those flows. Um, you know, the short palette, they cut the short. Uh, so you have to make, put the silicone right here. I'm not sure about this tray. I will see how it works, but I'm probably not gonna use it. I just ordered just to see how, it, you know, that tray works. I'm probably gonna use like this. Uh, spread the legs a little bit more on my tri tripod to so make sure it's not, you know, wobbling like this. Um, um, but okay, so, so this is on design. Design is, I'm, I'm saying it's, I think it's okay. Um, what I really like, and some people will find it um, maybe not suitable, um, especially people who. Uh, like to squeeze the paint and lift the paint and reuse it. I'm actually a lot of times I, if I squeeze my all my paints right here, I will use it. If not, I will scrape scrape it, clean my palette, make sure it's clean. So the distance here, the depth, is literally. You know what? Let me measure it. That's about. Yeah, it's about. One six, one eighth. Yeah, it's one eighth. One of eighth of the inch. So if you have a pile of paint and you're gonna close, it's gonna touch here and you know you will make a mess. So I would recommend using this palette or this easel. Squeeze a little bit uh, and uh, use it. And when you're done, just clean the palette or yeah, basically, this is it. Just they make this, you know, uh, cuts, uh, thinking that when you close, uh, your paint will go here. But again, here is it's gonna touch right here if you have here um, the paint on this side or on this side. So it's you have to clean your palette. All right. Uh, what else? Um, but overall. I mean, when you close, I really like this wobbling plate. I'm probably gonna cut um, materials. So design is I would give, I would give probably. I'm spoiled with day tripper, so I'll give seven to to this design. Um, maybe seven and a half. It's light, lightweight. That's a good. It's good for studies. See this? It's already. So I have to keep it pushing it. I don't have to do it on day tripper. On day tripper, I just lock between the two four screws, and that's it done. This looks like you have to constantly push it and see, make sure it's not moving, so you can paint. It's okay. I will test it. All right. So on design, I would get seven. Yes, uh, no more than seven. On materials, uh, on materials, everything is actually uh, material-wise. Uh, I like the, you know, uh, the palette. And you can you can install any any palette. I like to have some extra space right here. Um, I mean, I'm talking about design. Material-wise, good materials and palette, good materials on actual easel, the plywood. I will see how it's gonna work when I start abusing it. I cannot tell right now. Um, the magnets are solid. The hinges are good, and overall, I like the idea of if you can see it here. Yeah, the screw for the for the plate uh, tripod plate is actually installed from inside, which is really good. It's a good design, and also materials. Yeah, so materials. Material-wise, I will give 
I will give Salad nine, nine from uh, nine points from ten out of ten. So that's materials. Now the next one, the craftsmanship, um, lack of details. Um, obviously, this is not handmade easel. This is the um, machine cut piece. They put this, cut it, so it's computer is cutting this, the computer is cutting all this, all the holes. I mean, the only person touch in a craftsmanship is just put the magnet on the glue right here and um, and just slide the, um, I guess, slide the pallet and put the plate, install this, which is, as you see, it, they just looks like quality control is not catching this that this is the distance holes between the holes on the pad on the easel and the holes on this plate are different distances so that's why it's about wobbling uh, so craftsmanship I will give I would give seven I mean all, for example day tripper the craftsmanship on day tripper is <laughs> it's a handmade <laughs> And when I when I pull when I first my day trip at first when it's, it arrived, I was laughing actually. I was on the floor laughing like e really, <laughs> but it works and it's I, as you know I'm <laughs> evangelizing the uh, day tripper. Maybe I will be evangelizing this. I'm not sure. All right, so craftsmanship I will give uh, seven for craftsmanship. Now the uh, modifications. I would give, um, I'm not sure how much I will give because what I'm gonna do, I will tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, so now, how I, when I finish my painting, how I'm gonna take this painting out. So I guess I have to push it down and then remove it, I guess, yes. Um, but we'll see. Modifications, I'm not sure I'm gonna do anything with this I may ask the actually manufacturers to or send them email if they can send me same plates boss but with actually different angle and a little bit longer so I can catch 316 316 board gator board that's number one on number two I have to come up with the idea how to support this pallet that's will be modification that's number two number three put a screw and holder and so I can hand my you know, brush cleaner right here to clean the brushes if I need it um, so that's will be number three and it's doable because it's it's plywood so I, all I have to do just drill the hole uh, make sure I'm not inside here and I'm not hitting the pellet a little bit lower so I have to pre-drill put the screw in hang it We'll see how it's gonna hold. That's another thing, it will be on part number two. Uh, so this is three. Uh, another thing I will do, I would probably um, take this plate, cut it, and have just a small, two small pieces. I'm not sure why do you need this. I just don't, don't know, wobbly thing. Um, just maybe to support and protect the edge right here, maybe. Maybe just glue. And definitely, I'm going to spray it and cry. <laughs> That's sure. I, I don't like the uh, wooden, shiny wooden uh, thing. I just spray it gray or dark, dark gray color. Uh, just, you know, when the box is closed, I don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna spray it right here as well. Just remove this, cover the magnets, and spray. Spray everything gray to make sure when I put a ca canvas, I have, I'm looking against the gray color not the wooden um, thing that's all we'll do 100 percent and that's it and some fixes you know, bubbling in the back make sure it's not chipping that's it um the use i cannot tell you right now i have to use it uh, before how is i'm saying normally i say i have to use it and abuse it and after use and abuse i will tell you if this easel is good enough for plein air painters uh when we you know travel and we you know dropping it and we enter rain and under uh, 
and there's snow sometimes and freezing and really hot air or hot temperature so that will be very very good test this summer for this easel and another reason to spray it with maybe several coats of gray color not only to make it gray neutral gray color but to protect it from uh, the rain and from you know um, condensation uh, you know from when you're pulling it from the car cold car into moist air so make sure there's some some kind of protection they have some some coat i think it's just one coat of uh, sealing coat it's like a uh, it's not uh, glossy but it's like semi gloss uh, polyester i think but you have definitely have to seal it with with paint uh, that's for sure uh, they may argue with me but i'm gonna put this on the test uh, and this will be part number two the usage of u.go easel all right that is all shoot me uh, any questions about this and again this is my first impression of this easel i'm definitely gonna use it and abuse it this summer on plein airs um, and i will report back to you so ask me questions if you have or you're thinking about purchasing this the one thing that i like i ordered this easel on amazon actually not from yugo because amazon was cheaper i'm not sure why uh, why at yugo is actually i think it's like 20 dollars more and i received it in two days so they have it in stock um, the cost was 200 uh, i think it's like 240 dollars altogether or 260 with the tray uh, which is not bad uh, you know you if you actually I, let me show you and this is what i mean by removing this for some reason they have right here they have this you know two plates with the screws why not to do the same thing on this side i hope not just to have their logo because they have a logo right here you go you that go uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut it and remove this completely. Uh, extra weight. I don't need this logo. I can write it right here if they really need it. All right, so you that go uh, plain air easel uh, with a tray. I'm not sure I'm gonna use that tray. We'll see. Uh, but we will abuse it. Uh, use it and abuse it. <laughs> We're gonna use it. Not abuse it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it and I'm going to report back to you how this holds the pressure of planar painters. All right. Once again, I'm Vlad Duchev. Um, don't forget to support uh, Ukraine through you know purchasing my paintings or donating on coffee uh, or just you know uh, words of encouragement or maybe other channels. And also, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like, hit the bell, and stay tuned. I've got with a lot of reviews and uh, demos and small portion of teaching. Also, if you would like to uh, learn with me or study with me, I have on my side under teaching there are mentorship, there is uh, workshops, uh, and I will not about workshops. Um, instead of you know buying and paying full amount, all you have to do is just pay one dollar. We need to get twelve students, no less, but no more. Uh, on my workshops, I would like to have only 12 students so I can put more time or enough time for each of you. So you just pay $1, lock your seat, and when we get 12 people, I will send all emails to pay the balance or $3.99 and uh, we can schedule and, you know, and meet together and, and work together. Um, mentorship, uh, there is some, just there is sessions basically, so just check it out. All right, if you have any questions, just don't forget to, or don't hesitate to shoot me an email or send me contact from my website. I reply within 24 hours, even sometimes faster. All right, that's all. Uh, let me try this easel at work and I will let you know. All right, so stay tuned. Don't forget to support Ukraine and I will see you next time.